And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. Well, the wind from last week has well and truly dropped, and it now looks like a glorious Pentecost weekend. At Pentecost, the Apostle Peter unfolds a vision from the prophet Joel that includes young and old, those powerless and those marginalised. It was a vision made contagious by the Spirit, made contagious in a way that crossed all borders, all boundaries, all frontiers, all barriers. Fifteen different peoples, their names a special gift for this Sunday's reader, and all can hear, in their own language, a celebration of linguistic diversity and understanding. Real communication. This is not just about a linguistic phenomenon. The contagious work of the Spirit is about setting hearts on fire. To speak with Francis de Sales, who in the 16th, 17th century, first coined the phrase later made famous by John Henry Newman, it happens when heart is speaking to heart. It's first and foremost the heart of God, speaking to our hearts drawing us through the Spirit into that heart of God's love. And then, as we are drawn in, we are drawn out again by that same Spirit, leading and guiding us in the ways of Christ, inspiring in us the art which is ours to learn, of a speaking heart to heart, with understanding, with kindness, with love, one to another. These are the Pentecost moments when we are so drawn into the sphere of Christ, so inspired by his Spirit, that we're not bothered about our image or our success, but can be totally focused on the other, on their situation, on their joys and their strengths, as much as on their needs. That's when people hear the Gospel, when hearts are set on fire, when imagination and faith are kindled. And for those of us who are older, it's especially important to listen to what the Spirit is saying through our sons and our daughters, as the prophet Joel has it, what he's saying through our grandchildren, and through the voices of those who are on the margins, so that together, through the Spirit, we imagine the future of our church and our world and see more clearly. Who could you listen to afresh this week. With the wind of Pentecost, word well and truly got out, and the inspiring and challenging message of Jesus Christ began to change the world, began to change people's lives. May God begin with us. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love and renew the face of the earth.